Welcome back to the channel. And today we have three women exposing three tyrants. And they're the chief of police in their city. You're not going to believe it. Stay tuned. You heard right. It's about police chiefs getting exposed as tyrants by women. That so many police officers get their feelings hurt, especially the chief of police. And that's who this guy is, the chief of police. And a woman named Moody flipped him off, and he just couldn't stand it. He follows her all the way up and down the aisles of Dollar General, trying to arrest her for the finger, of all things. I'll tell you one thing this chief is good at, though. Escalation. And what if all the guys below him start doing things like this? Do your ID. For what? Uh, because what you just did is considered disorderly conduct in the city of Lynn. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. okay. No, that's a First Amendment activity. No, it's not actually. It actually, it actually is. I need to see your ID, please. No. Yeah, I'm going to see your ID or I'm going to put you in handcuffs and I'm going to take you to jail. Good luck they with that. Excuse me? You're going to take me to jail because Absolutely I flipped. Absolutely, I will. Disorderly because I flipped. Conduct. No, that's not disorderly that's dis conduct. Ma'am? Dude, that's a Stop First Amendment away. protected no, it's activity. Not a First Amendment Yes, protected it is. Activity. I'm busy trying. Don't touch me! Stop! Don't touch me! Got a subject resisting arrest. <laughs> you can't. No. Of course I can. Man, it's a city ordinance. <laughs> okay. Do you realize that is First Amendment protected activity? It's not. This is First Amendment protected activity. Now leave me alone, dude. Yeah, you guys, this guy is chasing me. Okay. What are you doing? Leave me alone. You, you can't do no, I am not. Right you can't arrest, arrest me for arrest. No, you cannot arrest me for of First Amendment activities. You are under arrest. No. Right now. Okay, I will stop now. Uh Lena, can you hold this please? For additional charges for escape. Okay, go ahead because go. uh I don't want to hate people. No, go. no, if you're gonna do it, hand You're gonna me. go outside oh, this no. door right now. No, if you're gonna arrest me because I flipped you off out Man, there. You're causing go ahead and do it. Okay. This is because he flipped me off. No, go ahead and do I it. didn't flip you off. Go. No, this is because I flipped Hey, this is because I flipped him off. I don't know. I was with him. This is because so I flipped him off. Stand back. This is because I flipped him off. He put me in hand because I flipped him off. Yeah. Absolutely. She is under arrest for this one. Can you please make a We have a city ordinance. Can you put her in your car? She is quite a man. She may be chasing her all in the store. You will be in the lawsuit too. Because I love you Does he want to speak with her anymore? Do you know? Or? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's giving me a citation or a summons. But he doesn't know who I am because I have an ID. these marks on my wrist. I was told to stay over here by her. Just by the few short minutes that you've seen this guy in action, you know as well as I do that he should never have been given the position of chief of police of this little town. He acts more like a tyrant than a fair and just leader. His disdain for the public is going to become very obvious right now in the way that he talks to our lady. Not only is he a horrible leader, but he's totally out of shape and has no critical thinking skills because he thinks that an obscene gesture would be the finger? Really? I don't want to be near this cop alone. Oh, I, I don't I don't doubt it. Why, what is your problem with the police department? You, exactly. What you just why, did is my problem. Me? You just handcuffed me because I flipped you, you up. You just handcuffed me because I flipped you off. I have marks no, I on my wrist. I have marks on my wrist because I wrist on because marks after having the handcuffs, they're not made for comfort. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. And why did you handcuff me? Because what was your you reasoning? Were resisting my detention. And what was the detention for? What was your reasonable articulable suspicion? yourself for what crime? Disorderly conduct. And what did I do? You were what? flipping me I, off. Oh, yes, I flipped yeah. you off. Thank you for saying that. That's Absolutely. all I needed. Absolutely, it's no problem. Fact, it's a First Amendment activity. Also. Okay, great. Okay. 
When it's time for a city to choose a chief of police, they really need to choose one that's going to be a great role model for the rest of the men on the department that are going to be working under him. He should have wisdom. He should be in shape. He should be up on the laws. And he should know that flipping the bird is a First Amendment protected activity. And you can't attach any kind of disorderly conduct to it if it's protected. A little ordinance made by the city does not trump the federal constitution. This chief of police really demonstrates the disdain that he has for the citizens. And he does not like Jane Fair because she's an instigator. Mm-hmm. She's one of them auditors. You'll see. This is not her first rodeo. That looks to be a park. Yeah, about how far out would you say that 45 mile an hour sign is? What's that? About how far out would you say that 45 mile an hour speed limit sign is? I don't have any idea how far it is without measuring it. Formally measuring it? Yeah, why is that? Have you done so? I don't, I don't, I'm not public works. Yeah, neither am I, but um, I'm just curious, and I'm curious about what the statutes are, because I know norm, it's normal for traffic to speed up in sight of the sign, especially when they're a block away. Uh, the law is that you cannot speed up until you go past the sign. I'm Kevin Howe, the chief of police in Surrey. How are you? Oh, hi. I'm Melissa Ferris. I, okay. Basically, um, I'm kind of a person that believes in police accountability. Uh-huh. And I don't think much of being harassed or st with us. Well, I just don't think much of it. By the way, do you guys have computers in your cars? Or are you required to use your radios when you're driving? We can use our radios when we're driving, correct. Are you, uh, are you? Ma'am, I'm not here to interview you. Uh, but I am gonna give you some advice. Interview so I'm me? familiar with you. That I'm going to give you some advice You're right now. You're familiar with me as to how? I just, I review every citation that's issued. I see you were just issued a couple citations by the city of Surrey. Mm -hmm. So I am going to advise you, you pulled your vehicle in front of our one of our patrol cars the other day in front in of front it. In front of it? And I'm going to let you know if you do that again and interfere with one of my officers in the performance of their duty, I have how ordered How have them. I interfered let me with finish your police officer? To you. You, if You're you interfere, me, sir. I want to name an I am number. telling you that if you interfere I with my name, officers Jake, again, is that your name? you will be arrested and hauled into the Ward County Jail for interfering with the police in the performance You're of their duty. You're issuing me a formal threat under so you have law. Been advised. What is your name and badge you, number? I am Chief Kevin Howe, and you have been advised. Twelve eighty. What's your badge? So if you interfere How with my officers again, you will officer. be arrested. Now you Sir, have been you advised. Me of now get in your vehicle and exit the premises. What? Obey my authority, right? He's a tyrant. This is a public area. Do you have, I mean. Um, you interfere with my officers again when they are parked and we are talking. You come up and interfere, you will be Sir, arrested. Sir, I'm in a public area. You're threatening me with arrest for filming. Have a good day, ma'am. You will be arrested. Sir, you're in violation of the law. The U.S. Well, Supreme Court has ruled repeatedly. And see how far that gets you. No, you go ahead and talk to the city attorney. You're in a public area. This is a taxpayer area. It does not say private property. I can come up and film you if you're conversing with your officers. The law says so. I am not interfering with your police officers, sir. If you've got a psychiatric issue, you go ahead and see, get seek professional help. But you have to obey the law when you're in that uniform. Have a good day, ma'am. You interfere with my officers again, because you will be arrested. Unbelievable. And he is the chief. You have been warned. <laughs> this chief thought he could make accountability angel cry. Ha! She predicted he would get fired, and yes, he did. Why? Because I don't want to be a camera. And what's your name? Why are you approaching me? What can I do for you, man? Did I, did I not tell her what I needed? Why are, what is your name, sir? Ma'am, what can I do for you? I already discussed it with her. And she came to me, I'm her supervisor. What and what'd she say? Why are you aggressive? What's your name? Can you identify? My name's Chief James Bianchi. You're the chief? Yes, I am. Can you please step back? No. Please turn the camera on. Without your mask, you need to step back. No, I do not. There's no law that says I have You're the mask. chief and you're behaving this way. Look, Good. if I reached out, I would touch you. No, you couldn't. Keep watching. This chief is unbelievable. Yeah. Now with my hands in my pocket. What can I do okay, for you? Okay, I'm backing up and I'm asking you what not to step you? closer. What can I do for you? Stop stepping closer to what me. What can I do for you, miss? 
Did she tell you what I was here for? She said Can I speak to you? I don't want to speak to him. He's being aggressive with me. Sir, aggressive? Sergeant? Sergeant School Bay. Well, well, I'm requesting to speak to somebody that's not you. Well, I'm it. I'm as high as you get here. Well, thank you. That's a shame. Okay. Why have you been aggressive with... She didn't tell you what I'm here for. Uh, I'm here conducting request. business. A FOIA request. What was your and FOIA what request? else? And you want to... What else? You're you trying to intimidate me because I had an officer can I complaint. Answer, can I... I had an officer question? complaint. And that's what I'm here for. What is the officer complaint? It doesn't... I'm not telling you. You've been aggressive with me since okay. the beginning. Can I want... I want I a form. Can I have the form? form? You don't have a form. No, you're you're not required to have a form in Illinois. No, ma'am. Oh, yeah? Correct. Since when? There is no form. Well, I need to complain to somebody that's not you because now I also have a complaint on you. Very good. Give me your name and form. Or I'm not giving, I don't have to identify by law. Can I get a pot of paper, please? I don't have to identify. Can you pronounce your last name for me? And don't ever come up at me like that. Shame on you. You're the chief. Wendy treated me with respect, at least. You don't like cameras in here, do you? I've got a camera going on the building. Well, then what's your problem? You told me to shut mine off. What's your problem? You try to intimidate me. No, ma'am, I'm not. What's this for? For what? You can call and make an appointment with a sergeant. Oh, excellent. Have a nice day. I need a pen, sir. So I can fill out this way. Okay. That's fine. That's right. This tyrant said they do not supply pens. supply pens. Can I have your last name, sir? Can you identify? My name is... Have a nice day. I've said it twice already. Have a nice... You said you were the chief. I know that makes your balls feel heavy, but, uh... No. Accountability Angel gives him his last chance to apologize, but you'll never, ever see a cop apologize. And he leaves the room with his tail between his legs and, later on, fired! I have a separate one on you now? Listen. Are you going to apologize? Are you going to apologize? Yes or no? Do you apologize for your behavior? Come on. I'm giving you a chance to man up and say, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't. As a leader of this department, I shouldn't behave that way. And I expect my guys not to behave that way. But you're not doing it. You can't own up to your mistakes, can you? I'm giving you the opportunity right now. But I'm asking you to step away from there so I can fill it out on a, a decent service. Because there is nowhere to fill out a FOIA form in this lab. Thank you. I don't like you trying to intimidate me. I was here for a fucking complaint. I was kind to her. Shame on you. I ain't going in there. I also don't want you behind me either. I don't like that. Just like how you don't like that. You want someone on your gun side, you don't want them on your six. Thank you. Have a good day. So there you go. Three chief of police not even fit for their duties. All exposed by women. And if they act like this on camera, imagine how they act off the camera. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.